Hey, Bruce Naylor here, your boomer consumer and not so audiophile audiophile. Maybe you've noticed, but a number of my videos lately have been are centered around the world of audio. And Cohen reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing their Apex Elite wireless earbuds. And I said, sure, why not? Uh, Cohen makes really great audio products. Now, what's a little bit different about these is not only are they a really good earbud, but they also have active noise cancelization. I always trip up over that word. You, you know what I mean, right? You know what I mean. It drowns out some of the background noise. And so I put these to the test. So these weigh about 0.2 ounces, support Bluetooth 5, IPX rating of 5. You get seven hours of battery life, according to Cohen. I got about five with ANC turned on and about six with it turned off. And here you see it in its case. It's a nice case. It's really nicely made. Let me get this back in focus for you. Nice and smooth material on there. You've got a USB-C uh, port on there for charging. Let's see if we can get that into focus for you. There you go. Just, it's a really nice size fitting in the palm of your hand. It's a really nice size. You get about a total of 30 hours charge time with these when... Uh, Everything's all charged up and then, you know, put them in the case and let them recharge. So good on the battery life and, and just a nice convenient size for you. Now, I tested these using the Amazon HD Unlimited Music app on my Galaxy S8 Plus, which does support Aptex um, or Aptx, however you want to say that. Uh, I looked and looked for the actual specs and the codecs that are supported by the Cohen uh, earbuds. I really couldn't find anything. But nonetheless, uh, I played it uh, a little bit of Miles Davis here. I'm a big fan of jazz when I'm listening to music. The music sounded bright. Uh, here's the thing. I think it needs an equalizer. Fortunately, th this app actually has one in there for it. Uh, but I found the bass to be a bit on the light side. And I thought that the vocals were a bit muddied and bright. Maybe that's the best way. I get a lot of emphasis on the highs uh, with that. It's, it, the musicality is good for what you're paying for price-wise. Uh, it does not work with the Cohen app, uh, unfortunately. So that's kind of a, a big, big deal to me because I really think uh, getting that to work with an equalizer will make a big difference in boosting that bass uh, frequency. As far as presence is concerned, not bad. All in all, the musicality is very, very fair for its price range. It's not trying to be three or four hundred dollar pair of you know, pro level uh, headphones, but it certainly sounds good for the price. As far as taking them in and out, no problem. It comes with uh, a small, medium, and large uh, tips. The mediums are already pre installed. They are, as far as comfort is concerned, I think that's a big deal, especially if you're doing any kind of long-term listening. I found after a couple hours, a little bit of discomfort, but uh, all in all, not, not unpleasant whatsoever. They fit in the ear pretty good. One of the, my biggest gripes about these is I found that the onboard control uh, is really, really fiddly, and I couldn't find a way at all to skip tracks with this thing at, at all. Basically, if you want to play, pause, uh, enable active noise canceling, or uh, they call um, transparent mode. And also there's a game mode, but it says gamma mode in there. So I think they got maybe do an update to the firmware on that. But uh, tapping is just doesn't always respond real well. So uh, you might have to fiddle. It was just overall the fiddliness of the controls needs a lot of work. So. Um, I got to take a point away for that. Phone calls are okay with it. Uh, I'm more into listening to music with earbuds, earphones, speakers, more than phone calls. Yeah, it, it, it works. And the, the caller could hear me just fine. Again, the controls for hanging up the call was fiddly. Didn't always work as well as it should, but it's not a showstopper. You do get an uh, opportunity to get an extended warranty with it. Comes in a nice package. Um, I think they did a real nice job with that. These, these Cohen's, uh, they make a good quality product. And I think when you get in that 
budget price range. There's, you know, there's just a ton of competition out there. You know, you have the uh, uh, sound piece, you have the jabbers, you have others in this price range. But when you get down to around 90 bucks and you're throwing in ANC with it, um, there's compromises to be made. But the musicality for what you're paying for it is, I think, pretty, pretty decent uh, with these earbuds. If you're interested in more information, I have links down below in the description. I'm more of a headphone guy uh, at the end of the day. And uh, earbuds, I don't always like something in my ears a lot, but these were uh, fairly comfortable for listening for a couple hours. Again, I just plug them in and listen to some smooth jazz in the background, keep them down low. But I, I turned it up and I've listened to some uh, Metallica, uh, some Aerosmith. My, my musical interests are very uh, varied. All in all, for the price, I think they're decent, what you get for the money with these. The battery life, I can't complain about. The uh, I like the case. I like the compact size. They paired up real easy on Bluetooth. Uh, I wish they worked with the Cohen app so we could have an equalizer, but that was not to be. That is all in all what I got to say about the Cohen Apex Elite true wireless earbuds. Bruce Naylor, your boomer consumer. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.